Is that enough? Hi folks, it's good to be with you today. <coughs> Hi folks, it's good to be with you today. We're sharing the Word of God today. And the Word of God gives you an invitation today. That invitation is come. It says in the end of Revelation, I just want to share these thoughts to you today about the importance of coming to the invitation of Christ. It says this. It says in the Word of God, it says, for with that, it says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. It says in Revelation 22, verse 1, And he showed me a pure river, a water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne, throne of the Lamb of God. The throne of the Lamb of God. You see, there is a throne. The throne of the Lamb of God. And Christ came down to this earth to purchase people, to save you and rescue you from hell. And if you reject that gospel message, if you reject the message of Christ dying on that cross for you, the Lamb of God, who is on his throne right now, if you reject it, you miss out in coming into the kingdom and you'll be cast into hell with the devil and his de demons. And, and it's important that you believe in the Lamb of God while you have time. You might not have time. You might die tonight. You might die tomorrow. You have not got certainty about next year. You might die next year. You don't know when you're going to be alive. You might die tomorrow. And when you die, you either end up in heaven or hell. There's no two ways about it. You either be with the Lamb on the throne, with Jesus Christ, who is on the throne, who says right now on his throne, come to me. And he gives you an invitation to come into his kingdom, but you will not come. He invites you to come, to come to his kingdom, to come into his joy. He invites you to come. And he gives you his salvation, he gives you his grace, he gives you his love today. And he purchased you on that cross, he purchased your redemption. There he hung on a cross for thieves. He never thieved. He never done any thieving, but he died as a thief. He died for you who are thieved. He died for your judgment as a thief. The Lamb of God died for you on that cross. A murderer, if you've murdered, he died for your murders. He died for your lies. He died for your stealing. He died on your behalf, the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God is on his throne. And he invites you to his kingdom. But if you reject his kingdom, then you'll end up in the kingdom of darkness and in hell. You have an opportunity to escape hell. You have an opportunity to be saved. You have an opportunity to be delivered. To be forgiven. Okay. Right. You have an opportunity to be set free. The opportunity is here. And Jesus says, come. Come. And he invites you to come. Don't throw away your salvation. You have a soul. And that soul has, can be saved if you go to Jesus. But if you reject Jesus, you do not just go to the ground and, and dissolve. You don't just dissolve. You come on the day of judgment. And on the day of judgment, he judges. And if we're not believing in the Lamb of God, if we don't believe the Lamb of God, then we're going to be lost. We're going to be lost, my friend. You say, Jay, I don't believe there is a God. I, don't, I, I want evidence there is a God. I can give you evidence, but you still wouldn't believe. 
Even if I give you evidence, you still wouldn't believe in God. <coughs> you see, it's not an evidential thing, it's a heart thing. Your heart is a wicked, your heart rejects God. Your heart is in rebellion against God. It has to put the wacky-backy down. It has to put the pawn down. It has to put the drugs down. Then you'll see God. Then you'll know God. You have to put it down. Then you'll see God. I can give you all the arguments you want. Bring an atheist here right now. Bring your best atheist right now. And I'll demolish his arguments in five minutes flat. Any atheist you want to bring, bring him from Liverpool University. I'll demolish him in five minutes. It's not arguments you need, my friend. It's a heart change. You need to change your heart. You need to be born again. You need to be born again of the Holy Spirit. You need the new birth, the new life, new hope, new joy in Jesus. That's what you need. You need the life of God in the soul of man. You need the life of God in the soul of man. That's what you need. One day, one day, one day you're going to die. One day you're going to die and be in the ground. And it ain't over because you come for the day of judgment. And then you meet God. And God says, did you believe in my son? He said, no, I didn't believe in him. And he said, depart from me, I never knew you. One day you're going to die whether you like it or not. One day your eyes are going to close and one day you're going to be dead. And when you're dead, it ain't over. There's the day of judgment. There's the day of judgment, my friend. Are you ready for that day of judgment? Are you ready for the day of wrath? When the Lamb of God will roar like a lion. He'll roar like a lion and he'll take Chairman Mao and he'll bring Chairman Mao before him and he'll roar like a lion and he'll say, Chairman Mao, depart from me and go to hell. And he'll bring up Hitler and he'll say to Hitler and he'll roar at Hitler and he'll send Hitler into hell and Hitler will go to hell and the lamb on the throne will roar like a lion every man and woman will come before